Yeah, he's, I mean, he's he a guy that, you know, want to be good and um, want to take his game to the next level. So I think just that mindset that he have uh, coming into being a rookie, you know, I think that just helping him out as a pro. And I think just, you know, you see him uh, putting his hands on guys, you know, in their chest. You know, I think that's what he say he want to be consistent at, at, you know, just getting his hands in guys' chest. Because when he do it, you, you see him knocking guys back, getting off and make the play. And another thing that just stands out is his effort, you know. Um, you know, I'm big on that. I'm big on getting out of that, running to the ball, you know, trying to take someone's head off, especially them small guys. And I see him doing the same thing. So I think that just really just stands out about him. Jeff, what were your impressions of Trevor Lawrence in the first game? How much has he improved since the first game played? I mean, he's he a guy that we know that could, um, he mobile. He, he's a guy that not only can beat you with his arm, he can move around the pocket, he can get outside of the pocket. And I think that's what we have to limit this game, that we kind of, I don't. I wouldn't say did good at the first game, but we have to do better this game because he did get out the pocket a couple of times. Um, you know, we have to make sure we be um, coordinate on our rush game against him because he, like I said, when he see a lane, he don't see nothing downfield. Um, because he mobile, he could take off and run with the ball. So, and I think he's been doing that a little more as you watch film. He finding guys open. Um, he got some good receivers. You know, Chanel, um, You know, um, guys like that. So, I think we just have to limit um, the. Speed face up front, uh, be coordinated with our rush. So I think that's just the main point this week. You envision them quick gaming you or think you guys will hit drop back some and you guys will have some opportunity? Um, I, I think their offense, they, they have some quick game in it, but I think that, I don't really think that that offense, but if it is, we have to adjust to it. And, you know, just like with the Patriots, we have to, you know, come to the sideline, take coaching, whatever it may be. But I think the main thing is just stopping the run to make them be able to throw the ball, or make them throw the ball, I should say. What's the key to identifying the screen and, and kind of recognizing get into that chase mode and, and avoiding people downfield? You have to feel it. I mean, like, like Ray Barr already jokes, you know, if you come free, we're not that good. You know, you're not that good to just beat a man in one second, I should say. So when once you feel them guys throw you, you have to, and they always talk about uh, retrace and they get into the hip pocket of the um, of the guy you over. At, I'm over the guard, so I have to get in his hip pocket and just run. And um, I think that's what it is. To, to me, I think the main thing, you see some D linemen, you know, sometimes people don't run after they get screened because they be like, oh, I thought I won. So they just stopped. And I think my thing is, in our identity on our defense, Full tilt to the top, and every all the eleven have to get to the ball. So you guys obviously don't want to lose, but in some ways, could a two-game losing streak going into bye benefit you because you stewed over it so much and, and made you mad a little bit? Um, I don't think we even. I don't think we even talked about a two-game losing streak. I think we talked about how can we beat Jacksonville. I think we talked we talked about how can we go on this stretch right here. We have five games left for the regular season. You know, them um, 12 games before this game don't even matter no more. How can we focus on Jacksonville? How can we, you know, go on this run right here? How can we build momentum until, you know, this game and, and all the way through December to the playoffs? When you play a division opponent for the second time in a season, what does that knowledge allow you to do? I mean, hell's out. I mean, you know that they're, they're not going to change much. Um, you know, they probably um, tweak a little things, but they, especially with the runs that they were successful at, they're going to come back to them runs. We just have to be a better uh, because we know they're going to come back and try to do them type of runs against us. And um, like I said, it's always good to know your opponent and I think that's helped us out by knowing our opponent being able to play them early in the year and it just kind of gives each team honestly just a head start on each other so what, uh, I'm sorry if you've been asked this before but then I know Mike said kind of going into the bye week that he was noticing that team speed had kind of maybe the last week or two going into the bye had, had slowed a little bit had, had, you know is that something that you can see when you when you look at the tapes and so forth and, and do you expect that the bye will be able to help him are you regard? talking about us As yeah a, I mean of course you know um, it's a long season um, I think I think that's what's the main point of going to the bye week be physically mentally um, rested and I think guys came in just by the other day at practice, I think it was Monday, you know, we had a great Monday practice. Um, guys flying around. I think guys mind back to when we first came into the season. I think, like I said, that it's been a long season. Guys get fatigued, their mind get fatigued, start wondering. I think that by we did help us. And like I said, we ready to go on this run.